Chapter 2. Recruitment Tools. 13. How do I structure an employment application to get the most information? Too many employment applications are rooted in the past and do not provide informational windows necessary to capture candidate achievements. Employment applications are typically incestuously passed down from one generation to the next without upgrades to reflect the changing labor market. So how do you redesign a tired form to complement a candidate's resume and to heighten decision-making skills? The key lies in creating an application that supplements, not duplicates, the candidate's resume and highlights issues that stimulate interviewing conversation. Employment applications need to ask the questions that might otherwise be overlooked. How has the candidate progressed through the ranks and reinvented her job in light of the company's changing needs? What is the individual's reason for leaving his current company, and, more important, is joining your company the next logical move in the candidate's career progression? How does the candidate's annual compensation break down in terms of base salary versus commission or overtime? And how comfortable are candidates at defining, in writing, the criteria they're using in selecting another company. Tell me more. More stimulating conversation makes for better informational exchanges, more enjoyable interviews, and infinitely better hiring decisions. Add the following five informational windows to your current application to help place a candidate's duties and achievements into a clearer perspective. Starting position. Current position. Progression through the ranks is an admirable trait and will allow you to discuss issues regarding vertical promotions, lateral assumptions of increased responsibilities, or overseas assignments to gain certain kinds of line experience. Company size in terms of number of employees or annual revenues. Expect senior management candidates to answer this question in terms of divisional or corporate revenues. Junior level administrative support workers will typically respond in terms of the number of employees. Whatever the case, this information puts the candidate's achievements into some kind of contextual framework so that you can evaluate business environments in addition to individual duties and achievements. Number of hours worked per week. Most of us work 40 hours by mandate. However, some work 60 hours in a typical work week to maximize productivity. Others, in comparison, pride themselves on completing their work within the 40-hour time frame and feel that if you can't get the job done in that period, the job's probably too big for you. Stimulating conversation, isn't it? By the way, Recall that one of the most common reasons that new hires don't work out lies in the time commitment to the job. If everyone in finance works 60 hours a week and the newbie is leaving at 5 o'clock sharp, camaraderie will suffer. After all, everyone will question the new hire's motives and dedication if he doesn't appear to work as hard as everyone else. On the flip side, Hiring a 60-hour wonder could place extra strain on the staff if everyone pretty much leaves at 5 o'clock. Feelings of resentment or envy could follow, and camaraderie will again suffer. Don't leave this important issue to chance, add the question to your application. Reason for leaving The reason for leaving, RFL, is the link in a candidate's career progression. More than anything else, it provides insights into the individual's career management skills and business values. What are your long-term career goals, and how do you see a career with our company helping you meet those goals? This is a written question on the back of the application, with space for candidates to handwrite their responses. You'll sometimes get interesting insights into candidates' plans and views about work. More important, you'll gain some quick insights into applicants' levels of literacy. In an era of computer spelling and grammar checks as well as foggable resumes, it's always nice to know that the grammar fundamentals are alive and well. Illiteracy is protected from discrimination, you can't terminate someone on the basis of illiteracy.
If the employment application does the talking, managers can concentrate on becoming better evaluators of human resources. You'll find that informational windows will actually serve as windows of opportunity for hiring managers to add critical mass to their candidate meetings and come away with a better understanding of the candidate selection process.